everyone. Melissa Crook here, designer for Dovello's Designs. Today's project, we're going to be making t-shirts, something different than some cards. So we're going to be using our some of our Lavinia products and products that we can get at DelBellosDesigns.com. Um, today, we're making these quick, simple t-shirts, two different designs. All you need is some ink sprays and t-shirts, a couple stencils. So this one here is the second one. This is going to be the first one that I'm going to demonstrate. So this just uses a, I'm using a Gildan heavy cotton t-shirt, just 100% cotton. I've pre-washed it and ironed and then set up to set up you're going to use your stencil just lay it down um this one i even tape it i used a board that i have taped a towel to and i just simply put that in the middle of the shirt in between so it doesn't bleed through to the back and just lay your stencil down and spray away. Um, on this one, I've used a double stencil technique that I learned from Miss Robin Riley and used same idea, just some different stencils. So to do this project, you will need, of course, a white cotton t-shirt and a towel or something in between it to protect from the back. Um, for the stencil on the one I just used a stencil, I use this All in Create stencil. It's called Abundance and it's number 85. Patty had these in her shop. I'm not sure if she, just, she still does, but these large stencils work really well for this project. Um, for the second one, for the double stencil, I used the Cardio Magic Mask framed heart, and I used the aperture part, and I used the Lavinia stencils Ambience. It's ST028. This is from their newer collection, and I just put this the Ambient stencil underneath the aperture from the Magic Mask and taped it down. You will also need some painter's tape. I have this wider two inch tape that works nicely. Um, have some cardstock set to the side to clean your stencil off. You can pull a print from that. I use my tweezers to help lift. I use the La Lavinia spray acrylics. Um, for the, excuse me, for the flower, um, all in create stencil, I used sun yellow, cranberry red, and periwinkle. For the double stencil, I used teal, midnight blue, and carlet. These are water fast. So if you use these on fabric, they stay. They do not need, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to add um, special mediums to your fabric. Um, I They don't have any instructions as far as whether or not you need to heat set it. But working with other products in the past, I've just learned that I heat set. So after you get done, take your t-shirt after it's dried and iron it with your setting to the fabric that you're using. Since I'm using cotton, I set my iron to cotton, which is high setting and just iron it. And then you can wash wear and it's good to go. So let's get started. Okay. So now I have my shirt I'll put on over my board 
I used a piece of painter's tape to just mark down the collar for where to start my stencil. And I have my stencil kind of center lined with the center of the collar. And now we're just going to simply just spray it. Um, so I'm using the acrylic sprays in Cranberry Red, Midnight Blue, and in Sun Yellow. I'm going to start with the yellow, give that a good shake. I am doing it over my splat box, but it's giving it some lift, so hope it's okay. So we're just going to spray it lightly. few times with each color. And spray that. So then, I'm just going to let that sit there for just a second. I'm going to grab my piece of just my cardstock. I'm going to set it down on my work surface. And with my tweezers, I'm just ever so carefully going to pick that up. And I'm going to just lay it down on my cardstock. Yeah, let's set that off. So I'm going to use that ink off of there. And then I'm going to go straight into some water and wash that off. But usable. So that's our first t-shirt design. I quite like all of the just artistic pattern of it. Okay, so moving on now, I'm going to take this shirt off of the board and I'm gonna hang it, let it dry. Okay, and I have my second shirt prepared, and what I have done is I took the Ambience stencil from Lavinia Stamps, I placed it down, and then I put the heart aperture from Cardio over the top, and I have just taped it in place, because I don't want the splatters going everywhere on this shirt. So now... I'm just going to place my board with my towel to soak up any leftovers inside the shirt. And then I just simply tuck that under. I don't want to put that on my glass. I'm going to leave that up. Now, it might be a very good idea to just go ahead and cover every part of it because my inks kind of tend to go wherever they want. Stencil down. This time I'm going to be using the Carlet, Periwinkle, and Teal. In no particular order, I'm just going to spray them on. I'm going to try to do 
some lines. See how that works. Okay, and this time I'm just going to go over the top with a piece of paper to pick up that extra ink. Give a nice fun background and cut that out and do something with that. Yeah. And straight into some water for those stencils. And then we'll just hang this one and let it dry. And then once they're dry, we're going to iron with a hot iron and let heat set. And wash and dry as normal. 